Now this problem is related to percentage of arsenic oxide. So this says a 12 gram sample of impure arsenic oxide which is acidic in nature. So we have been given a 12 gram sample of arsenic oxide this is impure and we know oxides of non-metals are acidic in nature and oxides of metals are basic in nature so this is acidic is dissolved in water containing sodium bicarbonate which is basic in nature. So this oxide is dissolved in water and this water contains NaHCO3. So NaHCO3 is basic in nature. So NaHCO3 is basic in nature. So in this case you will have acid base reaction simply. Now next it says and the resulting solution was diluted up to 250 ml. So the resulting solution is diluted up to 250 ml. 25 ml of this sample is completely oxidized by, so if I take 25 ml of this solution, this is oxidized by 22.4 ml of iodine, I2. Now to know the concentration of iodine, because concentration of iodine is not given, to know the concentration of iodine we have done in next reaction. So this says a 25 ml of this iodine solution. So if I take 25 ml of iodine solution, this is completely oxidized by 22.4 ml of. And so this is 22.4 ml of. So let me see. No, not 22.4. So 20, 25 ml of this solution is reacted by the same volume of solution. So 25 ml of I2 gets reacted by 22, 25 ml of Na2H2O3 5H2O that contains 24.8 gram. So let us first write and then we will discuss what this is. So this is if I take 25 ml of iodine, this is completely neutralized by 25 ml of iodine and a 2H2O3 5H2O and that contains 24.8 gram of Na2H2O3 5H2O and molecular weight of Na2H2O3 5H2O is also given to you. So let us first find out the mole of Na2H2O3 5H2O. So what is the mole of, so I can find mole of and a 2 H2O3.5H2O. So this mole will be so beta of Na2H2 to 22 24.8 and this divided by 248. So this is 0 0.1 mole. So this is the mole of Na2H2O3 and this is 0 0.1 mole in 25 ml solution. Uh, basically 24.8 gram in 1 liter. So this says this is in 1 liter. This is not in 25 ml. So it will be concentration is too high. So this will dissolve in 1 liter. So now I know what is the molarity of Na2H2O3. So molarity will be 0 0.1 mole in 1 liter. So this is 0.1 m. Molarity will be 0 0.1 m. Now you see what is the mole of Na2H2O3, 25 ml, concentration is 0.1 m. So you know the mole, mole of Na2H2O3 reacted. So mole of Na2H2O3, and that is the mole of Na2H2O3, same as mole, mole of Na2H2O3.5H2O. So this is reacted. This will be 25 into 0.1 and this will be millimole. Are you getting? Now if I know the mole of Na2H2O3, I can get the mole of I2. So let us write the reaction. Everybody knows Na2H2O3 plus I2. And this will give you Na2H4O6 dot ah, Na2H4O6 plus 2NaI. And this side you have to multiply by 2. So see, mole of Na2H2O3 is 2.5 millimole. So this is 2.5 millimole. 
so 2 mole of this react with 1 mole of I2 so mole of I2 will be 2.5 divided by 2 so this will be basically 2.5 divided by 2 millimole Now if I know the mole of I2, now I can see here, so let us say I know the mole of I2 that is contained in 25 ml solution. So I can basically calculate the concentration of I2. So concentration, so 25 by 2, 2.5 by 2 millimole, let us say concentration of I2 is M, so I can write 25 into M is equals to, are you getting or not? So you see, what, what is my target? I want to find what is the concentration of I2. I know the mol mole of I2. So concentration into volume, volume is 25 ml. So concentration, let us say, is M into volume is 25 is equals to 2.5 divided by 2. Because this is milliliter, this is also milliliter. So this is millimole, millimole cancels out. So from here, I can get molarity. So molarity comes out to be M is equals to, so this is, 25, 25 goes, so 1 by 20. So molarity is 1 by 20. Are you getting? So this is the molarity of iodine. So this is for I2. Are you getting or not? So now if you see here, now you can use this reaction mole of I2 if I know this is a 25 ml of solution is completely neutralized by 22.4 ml of I2 and the molarity of I2 I know is 1 by 20 so if I know the mole of I2 I can have some idea here so what will be the reaction that is happening in this case so you see if you are coming from here to here that is a simply acid base reaction so in acid base reaction oxidation state does not changes so in this case arsenic has oxidation state 3 plus so arsenic is 3 plus so here also oxidation state of arsenic will be 3 plus because we know in acid base reaction oxidation number does not changes are you getting now resulting solution is 250 ml 25 ml is taken so this is again arsenic is 3 plus and the question says arsenic is oxidized by I2. So what is the chance? In this reaction arsenic 3 plus. Now it can be oxidized up to 5 plus because nitrogen arsenic is in the fifth group. So fifth group compounds can have either oxidation number 3 or oxidation number 5 generally. Because nitrogen have a large number of oxidation state but arsenic shows only oxidation 3 plus and 5 plus. So in this case you will have arsenic plus that is oxidized oxidation state I2 that is I2 has to reduce so I2 is 0 so it will go to I minus now I know the reaction so we have to write down the reaction first so what is my target is I know I2 goes to I minus so 2 electron and arsenic that is AS3 plus so arsenic AS arsenic goes to AS5 plus so I have to add two electrons this side and this reaction is simple if I add I2 plus arsenic 3 plus and this will give 2I minus plus arsenic 5 plus. Are you getting? Now I know the mole of I2. Mole of I2 is 1 by 20 and this into 22.4 so this is millimole of I2. So you see here, in this reaction 25 ml of solution is titrated 22.4, 1 by 20. So this is the mole of I2. So what is the mole of AS3 plus the same? So mole of arsenic oxide, mole of AS3 plus is also same, 1 by 20 into 22.4. Now this is given in 25 ml solution. So in 25 ml so this is in 25 ml because solution has been diluted so mole of AS3 plus in 250 ml this will be 
I have to multiply this by 10 so I will have 1 by 20 into 10 to 22.4 so this is simply uh, 1 by 2 so 11.2 millimole so now you see this is the millimole of arsenic 3 plus and the same millimole will have I will have our okay now say arsenic AS2O3 so what is the mole of AS2O3 so now we can find AS2O3 you see 1 mole of AS2O3 will give 2 mole of AS3 plus so this means mole of AS2O3 is half of the mole of arsenic AS3 plus because 1 mole of this will give 2 mole so mole of mole of AS2O3 this will be half of this mole so 11.2 divided by 2 millimole are you getting now if I know the molecular weight of AS2O3 so this is given to you molecular weight is 198 so molecular weight of AS2O3 is 198 so I can get, get the weight of AS2O3 so weight of AS2O3 will be molecular weight into mole so that is 198 into 11.2 by 2 and this is millimole so I have to convert into mole so 10 to the power minus 3 so this will come out to be so let us check so we will have I am doing calculation here so we will have 198 into 11.2 divided by 2 and divided by 1000 so 1.108 so 1.1 gram approximately so this is 1.1 gram so what is the percentage percentage I have taken 12 gram and this is only 1 gram so percentage is 2 or 3 will be 1.1 divided by 12 into 100 so this percentage so 1.1 so let me check this divided by 12 so this comes out to be 9.24 around percentage is 9.24 so this is the percentage of arsenic oxide AS2O3 are you getting so this this problem is not a tough problem important point you have to remember only one thing that arsenic AS3 plus goes to AS5 plus if you know this you can solve solve this problem easily <laughs> okay we will discuss the next problem